What is up YouTube? Griffin here. Back at it again with the vlog. So I vlogged about two months ago when I left to basic training. Um, I graduated from Fort Jackson about two months ago, I think. Actually no, last month, May 18, so not that long ago. Um, I did lose some weight from basic training, which is crazy. Uh, basic training wasn't that bad. If you are a shitbag, of course it's going to be hard for you because your whole platoon is going to get smoked. So my experience with basic training was pretty alright considering Alpha 213 was by far, or well, I believe, it was, a be it was one of the best company there is. Um, not for the reason that, you know, I'm being biased, but we had the best drill sergeants that taught us um, basics. So, Fort Jackson, as you know, is in South Carolina. Um, yeah, it was, it, it went by pretty quick. Um, so in basic training, you get three phases. Um, you got the red phase, you got the white phase and the blue phase as usual. Um, for red phase, you just, mm, it was the worst three weeks I have had. Um, mainly because you just came from a, hey, my roommate's back. You been here the whole damn time? Yeah, I've been here. I'm, I just, I'm making a YouTube video. <laughs> cool. So that's yeah. They, he's, he's my roommate. Uh, he's also from Fort Gord, uh, Fort Jackson. Fuck, got me messed up. Yeah. So we both came from the same company, Alpha Two Thirteen. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Red Face. Red Face. They will fuck you up. Mainly because you came from a civilian. Civilian world, and they will strip you away from it so hard, like they will pants you. Um, drill sergeants are assholes on red face, and I'm not gonna lie, and everybody knows that. Um, what's up? You sound back in? You talking? I never signed that. So, <laughs> yeah. Red face, they will they will strip you down. Uh, purpose of it is to train you from a civilian to a soldier. Yep. Uh, you do get your your weapons within that week. Um, we were lucky enough to get M4s with CCOs. Um, the previous but uh, the previous um, cycle that we had that they had before us. We're using M16, so we were pretty lucky that we didn't get to use that weapon because um, I heard stories from the previous cycles that it was just really bad, and yeah, I'm I'm pretty much grateful that we we got we got M4s. So red phase, that's about what you learn. Um, you do get testings in every phases, so you do get. You do need to study your things. Um, I think except for the white face, you don't really do anything except go to the range and shoot. Um, red face is about three weeks. Um, after that, you move on to white face. Basically, they treat you a little bit better, but you know you still gotta act the total soldier concept, which means don't be a shitbag. Uh, white phase. White phase is just being confident with what you learn from red phase. So you're technically applying what you learn and just be a better soldier in white phase. And honestly, white phase, I started to feel more um, confident about myself. And then after the white phase, you move to the blue phase. Blue phase is a little bit more difficult mainly because now they set the standard higher than red and white face so technically since you pass white uh red face and white face 
they expect you to know what you learn on those phases. So um, within the blue phase, those remaining three weeks, you're just training every single day. And I'm not gonna lie, when they, when they say train, you will train. Um, yeah, everywhere we went, we either march or take the bus. But that's about it. Uh, food wise, blue face, we ate a lot of MREs, which I really hate because I just got sick of it. Um, yeah, so I came into Fort Jackson, I was about 215 pounds and I shredded about 24 pounds off. So I'm currently 190 pounds. So do ex like expect that you're gonna lose weight if you are you know, over the limit of weight or if you're on the right weight. But that really depends on your body. Uh, I was lifting a lot before I left. So yeah, that's why I lost a lot of weight. Uh, not just because of that, but the training that they do every single day. Um, yeah. So after that, I graduated May 18. Now I'm at my AIT. I am currently on my sixth or seventh week here at Fort Gordon. Um, I'm a 25 Bravo, by the way. So yeah, this place is for computer communication signal uh, base. So here at Fort Gordon, it is chill, but at the same time, I tell you, it's way different than basic training. Uh, one reason is you know, they're more lenient with you. They expected you to set the standard for yourself. So coming out from basic training, um, you have your bearings and everything because the drill sergeants, first sergeants, the commander, they set the standard for you when you're in basic training. But here you have more responsibilities for yourself. Um, it's not the same where you get the intercom and say you gotta wake up at this time, like time to wake up. Here, here at AIT, you have to do everything yourself, which means waking up yourself on time, um, getting to formation on time. Punishments will be given if you are late to formation. So um, yeah, don't be a shit bag. Um, technically, AIT is like college. So um, expect a lot of shit bags just like that one right there so um what else depending on your ait uh fort gordon has phases so four weeks ago i was in phase four but now i'm a phase five which means i can wear civilians on weekends and i can wear them until before formation so every day here at fort gordon not just every day, but on the weekends, you do get to go to the PX after 12. But you sign out with the Battle Buddy. Battle Buddy system still works. Do not out. be a 25 Bravo. You will come to a <laughs> shithole. <laughs> yep. 25 Bravo is hard. I mean, it depends. I mean, if classes here are pretty easy if you pay attention. But if you're the type that falls asleep in class, I don't know if you're going to make it because... People do get recycled here, and recycled means you get to take that class again. And yeah, I think you got, you have like one chance to to be able to pass that test. And if you don't, it's either you get reclassed or chaptered out of the army. So that's what I'm trying to avoid. And that's what you should try to avoid if you are in AIT. Um, yeah, so sixth or seventh week, I have lack of sleep because of study. I study a lot. I read my books. Um, you do get to keep your phone when you get here, uh, but when you get to classes, you can't have your phone. So I just leave my phone in my barracks. And trust me, you don't want to bring your phone. Uh, I've heard a lot of stories here, even smart watches that 
like instructors can hack into your smart watches and block your, your or change your IP so technically you can't use it so yeah that's that's one of the advices I would tell you um, second advice would be if if you are you know about to hit your AIT try not to fall asleep if you are falling asleep just stand up don't don't even try and um, don't even try and um, play it cool because it's never gonna work. It happened to me. Um, our punishment right now is chosen. Uh, we technically had to vote what kind of uh, punishments we we need to do if we were caught sleeping. So I was doing Y squats, like Y, and then do your squat. Uh, depending on what the punishment is there's different exercises but other than that uh yeah don't be a shit bag just do your job do just come here do what you came here to do like just be you uh the easiest way is to graduate and yeah so if you do have any questions um you know comments down below and uh, like the video that's about it so Peace.